it's Lucas and I really regret trimming my beard. Hey, it's Lucas and today is the 5th, wait, yes, today is the 5th of March 2020. Wait, I'm really sorry for not making a video for about a month or just over, but a lot of shit happened in my personal life. Um, unfortunately, my nana passed away on the 2nd of February and the funeral was on the 25th, so we've kind of just been dealing with that. And that kind of leads on to where I'm at now with my minoxidil stuff. So for the entire month of February, I've been pretty off and on with my minoxidil. Um, I've only missed a couple of days, but there has been more days than not where I've only applied it once because I've either forgotten, I've been busy, or I've just not been in the mood for it. So I don't know. So regardless of missing a few days or missing a couple of applications, my beard is actually still coming through quite well. Um, I've just trimmed it before I recorded this video, which I now know that I shouldn't have done because it was actually looking pretty good. It was thick. Um, I'll throw pictures on screen now. So that's where it was at before I trimmed it. I started noticing hairs on my cheeks coming in. Um, I've got a spot there, that's gross, I'm sorry. But I do remember um, seeing the video, I think it was an Aiden Dowling video, a really old one where he said he tended to get acne more when his beard was coming in. So hopefully that means my beard's gonna start joining up pretty soon. Uh, as far as acne in general, a lot of people say that they start getting acne when they apply Minoxidil because it's quite oily. Um, no, I haven't had that. I get quite the opposite. My skin feels really dry, so you just gotta keep moisturizing pretty much. So if you're like me and you've got a pretty good neck beard as it is, you don't wanna focus on that. So I'm gonna be focusing on my mustache, my goatee, and my cheeks. That's what the word for cheeks then. As far as my mustache is coming along, it's starting to get a bit darker. Uh, just a little bit. It's still blonde, but in certain lights, it looks quite dark and before I trimmed it, it was getting really long. There was hairs on this side that were going into my mouth and um, it's joining up here from my mustache to my chin, cheeks. I don't know what to call it, but it, it joins up. You can't see it on camera now, but it joins up here. I'm also starting to get a very, very light, very small goatee, which I'm pretty excited about. That's pretty cool. As far as my neck beard does go, um, I've got a big patch here that I've had pretty much forever. It's starting to grow over it, but it's still light and it's still really significant. You can tell that there's no hair there. But um, this bit still doesn't connect up my chin and my neck beard. This bit is growing little hairs, but they're still blonde. The most significant change that I've noticed is from here, there's hairs on my face. Lighting change. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm getting hairs on both sides. I think it's a bit thicker on this side than it is on this side, which is weird because this was always my good side. But now this side is my good side. Hey -oh. Um I'm getting hairs here. Like, my moustache is going up into my nose, which is quite annoying. Uh, people can't see it because my moustache is blonde, but I can. And it's kind of doing my head in a little bit. I still don't know how to line up my neck. Leave me alone. I'm trying. Uh, but as a general thing, my beard's gotten darker. Um, I don't notice the the fluff as much. I think in my last video I mentioned that my face just was really blonde and fluffy and I hated it. It's not that bad anymore because the hairs are starting to turn black. So I'm just going to keep applying Minoxidil and hopefully they'll all turn black very soon. So overall, I think um, I can say, but not 100%, that if you miss a couple of applications, it's really not going to affect you. But try and stay on top of it as much as you can. Uh, I'm trying to get back into a routine, but saying that I haven't put it on today yet. I uh, reminded to myself to put Minoxidil on after this video. So once again, I'm sorry that I've been shit with uploading, but with everything that's gone on, I just really haven't wanted to. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping up to date with me and I will see you again next time. Bye.